Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'll be back in front of the camera next week, but this week I have just been feeling a little bit run down and I'd said on Patreon that my eye had started to become quite sore and long story short, it turns out that the mask, and this is actually quite common if you're wearing glasses, I had to speak to the optician because the mask has actually given me a dry eye. Um, it dries out your cornea and you need to get eye drops. So I'm on eye drops for a week and it's nothing at all, but oh, did it hurt. I couldn't understand why my eye was so sore and I wondered if I had an infection and I thought, right, I better take no chances. And that's what it was. It was a mask that was causing it. So still wear your masks, but just be careful. If you're getting any eye issues, it could be because of the mask. So rather than diagnosing yourself, don't leave it too long because if you've got anything with your eyes, you can get it fixed very quickly. So because of that, I don't have any, it's not swollen or anything. It's just it's one of those weeks where I'm just tired. So I think everyone gets like that. So because I'm tired, this leads me on to this week's video. So I was cooking yesterday and I had to use two lemons. So I thought, what about when you are quite lazy, but at the same time, you want to look after yourself. You don't want to waste anything if you can help it, but you don't want too much of a complicated do-it-yourself homemade recipe. You just want something quick and easy. So these are a few tips that I have come up with that they're not new, by the way, they're, they're very, very well known tips. You can research them, you'll find them everywhere. You know, sometimes they call them old wives tales and things like that. It's because they tend to be true. But when you think about it, <laughs> that's such a rude way to put it. But they get handed down through the generations because they work. Now, it looks like it's an advert for Asda, but it just so happens that when I go to Asda, I always seem to just pick up own brand because their stuff works really well. And at the end of the day, we all like a bargain. So, got two lemons and what I did was I was squeezing them for the juice and I was um, grating the rind. So, these are, in all honesty, they're done. So they could either go into your food waste or you could get one more bit of use out of them before you throw them away. So when you get dry skin, which we all do get, or especially on the elbows, the knees, it can be quite a different texture and it can feel as if no matter what you do, you're not really getting anywhere with the, the moisturisers. Sometimes your exfoliators don't cut it. So that's when it's quite good to try the lemon trick. Now, everyone can be allergic to anything, so you still have to make sure that you don't go flying on in there, trying all these things in case you are irritated or you are allergic. So always do a little patch test first. What I find with when I'm actually um, squeezing the lemons, I can find that it can make my skin a bit tingly. So it's not that I'm allergic, it's just because it's so acidic. And what I can find is if I'm squeezing lemon juice, I can find when it's going through my fingers, I can actually feel this little bit and the knuckles can get a little bit, not stingy, but definitely on that road. Doesn't mean you're allergic, but you want to make sure that you're not going to start just rubbing like crazy. And then you find out after a few minutes that that maybe wasn't the wisest thing to do. So treat everything that you use on your body, whether you've bought it in a shop or made it yourself, whether it's biological or whether it's something that's obviously been bought and created in factories and labs. Just make sure that you've tested it and you're not allergic to anything. But there's quite a few tips you can use just by sprinkling the product onto the lemon or putting some of your ingredients onto a plate and rubbing the lemon in it and then using it on your elbows, maybe on your knuckles, on your knees. And it's just, I'm saying it's the lazy way. Everyone's got a different idea of what lazy is. But for me, just grabbing onto that lemon and then doing what you need to do in those dry patches, to me, that's about as convenient as you can get. So the easiest one would be just to use the lemon on its own and to literally just rub it on those areas. And what the suggestions always are is to rub it and then you can see the juice and then just leave the juice to dry for about 15 minutes and then clean and wash as normal. Because if you just put it on and then you rinse it straight off away, it's not had a chance to do anything. I've got an email. <laughs> now, the other thing you can do, people talk about lemon juice being a natural lightener and a natural bleach but we're not doing that today that's not what we're doing it for but obviously if you don't want that or you're not looking for that then be careful using anything that can also bleach because you could find that if you're using this quite frequently and you're leaving the juice on for 15 to 20 minutes you could get that result too sometimes when people have got a bit of discoloration or naturally darker skin on the elbows on the knees they're looking for that 
but don't presume that anything's got the power to change it. And also, on the flip side, don't presume that something, even though it might be mild, doesn't have the power to change it. So just always do your research and do things with caution. But one of the first things you could do is just put a little bit of olive oil. Now, you could either be super lazy and pour it onto the lemon or just put a tiny bit on your plate or in a bowl and then just rub it in and then get started on your skin. So I'll do knuckles at the moment, but again, it's just a demo here. So that is easy. To me, that's easy. Again, you could pour it on or pour it in. I'm just wiping this as I go, by the way. Got my little flannel here. So the next thing you could do is you could add to that and do a little bit of sea salt because the sea salt is going to add exfoliation. Now, remember what I've said about sea salt. If you've got any cuts or abrasions, that is going to nip. Now, just put a little pinch here. So make sure that you don't have any cuts or abrasions or you don't have any super sensitivity. If you had dermatitis, eczema, anything like that, do not do this because you're not going to find that you enjoy that result at all. But you could always swap this for sugar, but you might not get exactly the same result. But you've got your salt now in your oil. So that's you've got the salt for exfoliation, the lemon juice for exfoliation. You've got the, the lemon juice is also going to give you the mild, again, if you're looking for it, possibly the mild change in discoloration if you are actually looking for that. But you're basically doing a double whammy of an exfoliation. And then you've got your olive oil for your moisturiser. So again, now you've got all three and you would work that on the area. And just like sugar, salt will also dissolve. So you don't need to worry about anything being quite messy if you're having a bath or a shower because it's going to dissolve. The other thing you could do is you could forget about the oil, forget about the salt, but to get some powerful exfoliation, you could use a little bit of soda. So bicarb, baking soda, and again, with your lemon. And then what I'll do is I'll sprinkle a little bit on the plate. So you could be super quick again and just sprinkle it onto the lemon. Or just put a little bit on the plate. Again, you wouldn't do all of this. You would pick one thing to do. So don't do it all. Because if you do everything, that's overstimulation. And that's not good for anyone. When you've overstimulated the skin, you tend to know all about it. And then you give yourself a different set of problems. So make sure that you just pick one thing. And like I say... Do your research for your skin because some people's skin can tolerate quite a harsh exfoliator. Some people like myself are more on the sensitive side. But look, that's it. You've got your bicarb. I could actually mix that a bit better. But you've got your bicarb on there. You've got it on the lemon. And then as you can see, the lemon juice instantly starts to work with the bicarb. And that's how your exfoliator is going to work there. And I would actually say that I can feel that very quickly. That one, can you see that? I can feel that very quickly. So arguably, can you see that little bit of erythema there? So I would say that there's an argument that that would be something that I would definitely need to be cautious with because look at the difference there. Can you see that redness versus the hand that I've not worked on at all? So that's going to be effective, but that's exactly my point about making sure that you do your patch tests. So I would make sure that I did not overdo that because at the end of the day, what you don't want to do is again overstimulate but it just goes to show that if anyone doesn't believe that your home treatments have got the power to be effective well there you go just a tiny little bit of the lemon juice and the bicarb and I can see a redness and a result already so always be cautious so this lemon will pretend that we just use that as lemon juice on its own and again you could get right into that elbow and just get that lemon and just work it right into that elbow Maybe just over the knee as well. You can definitely do that. And then with the last one, now this was actually a little jam, but my neighbour popped it into me. It's actually local honey. I've never had local honey before, but you know that um, a lot of people do say that if you've got allergies or if you're just trying to be as conscious of where your food's coming from as possible, then you can source locally. Well, sometimes you'll know yourself, like we're in Glasgow, it's not always easy to say, can I get some Glasgow honey? So it was lovely to actually know that there was a local producer. So obviously there's more than this, but she gave me just a little tiny jam jar to try. So that's local honey. And then what you can do, again, I'll just pour a tiny little bit 
this time I'll actually pour it onto the lemon, just a little tiny touch. And then again, the lemon and the honey work together to create a very... Now, it will be effective. It will be gentle in the sense that it's not going to be extremely harsh. I would say the baking soda is the harshest for me, but everyone's different. But a little bit of honey and the lemon will create an exfoliator. But the honey, again, is going to bring some nutrients with it. And also, honey is quite moisturising. So you can see there... My poor hand will be like, what are you doing to me? Why am I getting all these lemons rubbed all over me today? What have I done? And then this other hand will be wondering why it's been left alone. And that's it. That's all you would do. Now, you don't have to use the half the lemon. You can just squeeze the lemon and use the juice. But I thought since it's basically its own holder, its own... It's not a brush, obviously, but it's like its own exfoliator. It's there for you. Now, I would say out of all three... That one feels the most like you're rubbing a moisturiser on. So that feels like a moisturiser. The bicarb felt extremely stimulating very quickly. Obviously the plain lemon on its own is lemon juice, so you might get that little stinging sensation or the sort of, you can definitely feel it, most people can feel it. And then the olive oil and the salt, I would say, just felt very neutral. It didn't really feel of anything. It just felt like a nice sweep across the skin it didn't feel too thick too thin it just felt very simple to do and it didn't particularly with me I don't have any cuts or abrasions it didn't irritate me at all give that a little wipe so that's four different ways that you can use your lemon if you want to give yourself a natural exfoliation especially on those elbows and those knees. And what you've got to remember is that skin texture is different there. So you are going to get a different result there. Arguably, that skin can tolerate it. I personally wouldn't use this all over the body. I think it's too, too abrasive, should we say, for the body. I think a more gentle exfoliation. But on those areas that can definitely take it, you might want to give it a try. But if you're ever in any doubt or if you know you're super sensitive, then this just might be a little bit too much for you. But it could be one that you can give a little try, do a little patch test if those elbows really bother you. And a lot of people say no matter what they do, their elbows just look scaly. They just always look a bit discoloured. How often do people say that their knees just feel like the texture's just so bumpy and it can be blotchy and just dry so it could be something that you might want to investigate and just try it out but again the choice is always yours just make sure that you don't just go bounding in always make sure you do your patch test do your research but there you go that's another way to use some of your food when it's finished with but you can still adapt it to do some of your DIY treatments so I hope you found that interesting should be back on camera next week with, with some more tips for you have a lovely day and I'll see you again soon